Hello, welcome, Cavature. In Elden Ring, let's continue on. We are about to go into the uh, Lanedale capital. I have not been in here yet. Um, I feel pretty good about my uh, progress with the uh, the outskirts, and then the Altus Plateau, and then what is it, Gelmir Volcano. I'm not going to play the manor, I think, in this playthrough. It might mess up an ending, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we will not do that. Save it for the future. Uh, the last live stream that I did went through here a little bit. Still haven't gone back there, but I'll do that sometime later. Uh, but yeah, Lanedale. Definitely wanted to uh, do this in a live stream, so we'll do this here. And, got a new spear. <laughs> uh, the last video that I put up was me beating Moog, and I got his spear, so we'll try it out here. I uh, have not really used it, so we'll look at uh, the moveset, the, uh, the damage output, and all that. And then I can show you my character, uh, level 139, and then I respec the stats so that I could use this... Uh, Moog Spear, uh, but Arcane 31, we need a 23 to use this. I just put the leftover into Arcane. So I'm actually going back to uh, kind of my original build, which is uh, Strength and lots of Arcane and then a Shield. <laughs> oh, Hald of Color twice size is great choice. Awesome weapon. Okay. Yeah, just picked it up. Uh, it's kind of the uh, the logical conclusion of this build, because Argo is the uh, the spear user. <laughs> and then... What else did we do? I took out a lot of points of dexterity and decided to go heavy on strength instead. And then, using this shield, love this thing. Uh, armor, we're going to go for this kind of crow armor. Gives me extra damage on a jump attacks. And then Radon's Gauntlets and Greaves for the uh, the Poise. Although I need a bit more for the, um, the break-off point at 51. Uh, and then here we have a couple of uh, Talismans for damage up. I don't need these now, actually, so let's change these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess Poise up. <laughs> And what else? Oh, maybe a char or a jump attacks up or damage up. And then I don't really feel like I need more souls. <laughs> I feel like my level is high enough for now. So maybe uh, this will cut damage that I take. Um, let's see... Uh, but this will raise the guard counter damage, so maybe I like this. Yeah, we'll do that for now, I guess. Oh yeah, and then I tried out this uh, Mimic tier. This uh, Mimic summon for the uh, first and second times, and it seems too powerful. <laughs> so maybe let's unequip that and we'll put on uh, some other favorites of mine. Uh, Demi-humans. Mm. Oh, the marionettes. I like the marionettes. There they are. Archers. Uh, let's try this bird, actually. I haven't used it very much, so... I would like to see if that's any good. Uh, what do I have for mixed elixir? Good, uh, good question. I still have it on the uh, setup good for Moog, so I need to change this also. Yeah, Mimic is super OP. Yeah, I heard he was really good, but I never really saw him in action. And then I tried him against that um, that uh, alien Bloodborne looking boss. And uh, I didn't really get a good uh, feeling for how strong the uh, Mimic tier was. But then using him in Moog, yeah, he did seem very strong. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming there's going to be a save point somewhere in there. Uh, when we get there, we can change the uh, the super potion. All right, well, let's go. 
And my uh, character is feeling very strong at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, first time entering Lanedale. Okay. Off in the distance we can see the Divine Tower, I think. All right, and save point, perfect. <clears throat> uh, let's change that, uh, what is it, flask of psychic? Here we are. Well, what should we put in? Let's see, heal, HP. I guess also heal, HP, <laughs> two kinds. Uh, max HP up, HP regen, uh, heal FP, max stamina up, strength up, dexterity up, faith up. Oh, if I drink this, it will raise my resistance and then also heal status effects. Uh, what's this one? Charge attacks get stronger. Uh, if I die, I can keep my uh, runes. That's funny, I haven't used this one before. Uh, let's see. Weight load will go up. Rolling gets better. Damage cut. The uh, the Moog one. And explosive. <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe strength up and damage cut. Yeah, <laughs> these are the two that I used before. I like these. Okay, let's go ahead. No, okay. Elevator, cool. Alrighty. I wonder if this map is big. <laughs> okay, magic grease, I think it is. Now we're getting very close to the Erd tree. <laughs> oh, very close. Holy, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a split in there. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing does uh, fire damage. So I wonder if that will be good. Uh, we got the uh, shoes. I wear that for the uh, Summer Argo build. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Maybe uh, this thing here? I'm interested to uh, connect to here. I uh, warped here before from another place. Crazy. Okay. Oh, another save point. Very uh, gold, 
the look of this place. Oh, hello. <laughs> My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Oh well. Thanks for everything. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Bach, I think? Hello. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? I do. The Bok, the demi-human. Right, right, right. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Sure. Well, what can we do? Citizen's clothing, uh, magic robe, magician's robe, the long, oh, this is the one from, uh, what's his face? The, uh, the big hat guy. And the vagabond armor, okay, that's it, I guess. What's this? Master, did you see it? The, the herb tree. I, oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so, so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, Alrighty. Going so soon? Yep. Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Lodalil, Lodalil. That's the name in Japanese. My first look inside the uh, the walls here. Crazy. And a dragon. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, can we go in here? Nope. Okay. Is that an enemy? Yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, maybe an astronomer, maybe? Looking at the sky? <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Shooting bubbles at me. <laughs> All right, not quite one hit. We can try the uh, strong attack. Oh, three hits. Okay, running R2 is three hits. That'll be excellent for uh, bleed buildup. <laughs> That's crazy. Running R2! Whoa! Guess that's the, the boss, sorta? The boss astrologer. <laughs> that. I don't recognize that. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! 
Ow. Weird. <laughs> Weird shape that guy had. Alright. I remember seeing uh, Honor Londo for the first time in Dark Souls. Looks so gigantic, and I was wondering, are we going to go through all of that? Uh, we didn't end up going through all of it. <laughs> but uh, an Elden Ring here, that's very much a possibility. This is a beautiful room. Overgrown, but yeah. Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay, pretty good damage there. Oh, Slinky says hello. Is this your first time joining the uh, live stream? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I don't know if people can see my uh, comment that I made in the beginning, but if you want to talk about Near Reincarnation, please do. And uh, spoilers are okay. I was actually considering playing uh, Near Replicant and then playing like uh, Ending E again to talk about Reincarnation there, but uh, for here now, we'll uh, we'll do Elden Ring. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go uh, to the right. Uh, Slinky says, first time messaging the chat. Okay, thank you, thank you. Been following you since War of the Visions days. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> A lot of people have been uh, kind of cropping up from uh, the past. It's been very cool. Wasn't counting on it, but yeah, very cool, uh, I guess, side effects, you could say. <laughs> oh, was that a heavy roll? No, we're good, okay. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make the, um, the Final Fantasy Ever Crisis video for uh, March, talking about the uh, sales numbers. And uh, we can also look at the numbers for War of the Visions and other games. But yeah, good month for Ever Crisis, I thought. I haven't looked at the other games lately. Crazy. <laughs> maybe it's just this room that is kind of hazy. Oh, maybe this is like a big uh, perfume or like an incense kind of thing. Reminds me of the uh, chalice dungeons in Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, were we here before? Yeah, we were. Okay. Well, I guess this is where we were before. We can go in the uh, other door. All right, here we are. Oh, elevator. <laughs> Surprise me. <clears throat> so far, pretty understated presentation of the capital. It's kind of cool. Oh, there's a perfumer. Oh, hey, hey, you got the perfumer's hood. <laughs> that might be good for a, a Udeal build. I actually have a, a Udeal video uh, finished and uploaded. But I feel like I've been uh, uploading so many videos that I'll uh, wait till later to <laughs> make that public.
It's interesting, like, comparing Elden Ring to the earlier uh, Dark Souls games and Bloodborne games, because they all take place kind of like after a fall of, or like the end of an era, or like the fall of a civilization. But I feel like Elden Ring hasn't fallen as far as the others. What is that? Some kind of curse. Let's have a look at that. Uh, not a talisman. Hmm, what is the thing? <laughs> no? Key item, okay. Here we are. Kills, kills some kind of hunger? I don't know. <laughs> Something about a curse. I'll uh, look it up later. But yeah, Elden Ring compared to previous FromSoft games. It feels like the, uh, the fall or whatever was much more uh, recent than those other games. Alrighty. Oh, more perfumers. Rooftops. We'll fight these guys first, I guess. Okay. Maybe jumping R2 kind of uh, breaks their shield guard? Maybe? And nobody looks very happy here. <laughs> Whoa! Charge. Ugh. A thousand damage. All right. <laughs> well, that's it. Okay, we can jump on that rooftop too, probably. Music's getting a little more dramatic. Well, I guess we'll try uh, jumping over here. That might be the front entrance there. Crazy. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I guess we'll go over here. Well, let's have a look. Whoa! Didn't see that other guy. <laughs> oh, let's try the uh, L2. Whoa! <laughs> Strong. That um, L2, can I, like hold that down or like hit it multiple times to do more with it.
Maybe a main street here? What is this? Maybe the the palace? The center? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I have bleed with weapon, yeah. Strongest weapon art in the game. Oh, really? <laughs> Alright, uh, next time I use it, I'll try holding it down. We'll see what happens. Well, let's see if this opens. No. Looks pretty uh, glued shut. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. So in fighting Moog, I did the uh, the dual wield, two spears. Uh, but I wonder if the guard counter is very useful against him. That was maybe something I should have uh, tested before. All right, let's go this way. Whoa. Is that like an arrow or something? Yeah, that's where we came from, all right. Well, I guess we'll kind of head towards the the center. Maybe it is. Yikes. <laughs> okay, got some greaves. Okay, some bolts. <laughs> That's funny. The guy who's not paying attention is kind of blocking the way. <laughs> Yeah, like in the jump R2. Yeah, pretty strong. <laughs> this would be a good place to try the weapon art. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel the need for runes as much anymore. I'm probably at a level good enough to take me to end game, maybe? Yeah, okay. Again, jump R2, good for the uh, guard break. Let's try the uh, crouch. Oh, we get a uh, sweep. Crouching R1. Okay, that's useful. Crouch R2. Another straight. Okay. Sunflower. Well, I guess we'll keep going. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, let's try the, uh, the running R2. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look at this uh, garden, maybe? Courtyard? Whoa! Alright. To tell the truth, I have never fought one of these lion guys. I've run away from them all. <laughs> but let's try here.
Oh. Ah, we missed the uh, critical hit. Whoa. Ow. Okay. And you were in the way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I do like having a shield. <laughs> I do that? I'm uh, two-handing the uh, shield. How did I do that? Can you, can you take what's in your left hand and put it in your right hand? Is that what happened there? Oh. Well, I guess we're not going this way anymore. That is a big arrow or something. Well, I guess we'll uh, go down here. This is going to be very uh, random, but uh, for some reason I'm reminded of uh, Game of Thrones. And then what is the the name of the uh, the central city in there? It's been a while since I've uh, read the books or watched the TV show. But yeah, that big central city, the capital. Maybe this is kind of what it looks like. The uh, nice parts of it, at least. <laughs> Oh, Phantom Mugen. Hello. You can two-hand weapons, but I forgot how. King's Landing. Oh, yeah, thank you, Raven Givens. <laughs> so, yeah, I can two-hand that. Actually, maybe if I hold down triangle and hit L2? Aha! Got it, okay. Oh, that's helpful. If I need to just run through a place and, like, guard, that can help me. Uh, we'll try to sneak behind. I have uh, many problems with the uh, the last season of Game of Thrones, the TV show. <laughs> but um, last the last episode, right, where they um, where it's kind of resolving the story, you know. They have the uh, the council of the uh, the rulers, or like the uh, what do you call it, the uh, circle of advisors. They never show the city. They never show King's Landing in that last episode. Like it gets attacked, you know, at the end, and everybody's running around. They're like, "Oh my God, it's a it's a tragedy," and then they never show the city again. You would think that, like, you know, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the show, when they, uh, you know, crown the new king and restore order and all that, that they would show, like, you know, the, what do you call it? Just kind of the general public, the, uh, the view of the city, you know? Like, why everybody was fighting. <laughs> and they never did. It just felt like 
the advisors were just like six random people just sitting in a room. Just disconnected from the city, disconnected from reality. It was very odd. Uh, Raven Given says, I did that accident in a boss fight and wonder what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the heat of the moment, you might push buttons that you're not sure about. It was a disaster to such a good show. Yeah, I agree. With the show, I feel like... Just a uh, theory of mine, but I feel like it was ruined by the, uh, the showrunners. Maybe uh, they thought they were uh, geniuses a little bit too much writing their original uh, content and got carried away and then ruined the final season. <laughs> I still believe in George R. R. Martin. I think that whenever he does write those books that they'll be good. The speedrun season. First time I've heard that referred to like that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Voris, hello. Yeah, a problem with most directors now. They think they are bigger than the material. Yeah. But you can kind of understand it because the show was like so praised, you know, when it came out. But I did notice like very early on that um, that the show was kind of um, doing things differently from the books in some ways. They were doing that thing that I hate where they try to make every single character sympathetic. Like in the book, the uh, the mother, uh, I forgot her name, like the, the twins, the, uh, the sister. Oh, save point, nice. But, uh... In the books, that mother character, the queen character, she's just crazy. <laughs> but in the TV show, they really try to make her sympathetic and, like, really push, like, uh, you know, the mother angle. I liked her better in the books. <laughs> also, they rushed it because of a Star Wars film they were trying to direct. Ugh. That's such a shame. They didn't end up directing it, did they? I think. Star Wars, don't get me started on that. <laughs> With Star Wars, love the original trilogy, of course. Ow. I didn't like the prequels very much. I liked uh, The Force Awakens. Okay, let's hold it down. One. No, okay. Oh, that was enough, though. <laughs> when, um... When Mo does the, uh, the, the stabbing attack, he stabs three times. I want to know if I can step three times as well. <laughs> uh, Cersei, that's what her name is. Yeah, Cersei in the books was crazy. Just crazy. <laughs> Oh, you can do the guard counter too, huh? <laughs> hey, got a helmet, all right. Watch House of Dragons, Crazy Family is all I have to say. Oh, sounds good, Koimani. 
Star Wars Visions probably has been my favorite so far in Bad Company. Okay. I haven't watched anything outside of the um, outside of the films. I watched Rogue One. That was okay. I like the uh, the droid in that. I heard that uh, what is it? Andor. Andor's good. House of Dragons was fun. Plot moves at nice brisk pace. Okay. That sounds good. I liked Rogue One, yeah. <laughs> okay, where were we? We came from there. So let's keep going this way. Nope. Here's the uh, tail of the dragon. What is this? <laughs> Can we go on the dragon? That would be crazy. Well, let's get this treasure. No, can't open that. Uh, I liked Force Awakens. I did not like The Last Jedi. <laughs> Last Jedi was interesting, but I don't think it should have been canon. I don't know. Mark Hamill seemed very uh, upset about The Last Jedi. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we can keep going up, I guess. Oh, it will lead us into the next building. That's hopeful. <laughs> I don't know much about the uh, lore of the dragons in Elden Ring. I know that they... Um, they were here before the Erd Tree appeared. That's about all I know. Let's see, they retcon all of the prophecy of the Chosen One. That Anakin bring balance, really bad writing. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> oh, and what was the last of the trilogy called? Revenge of the Sith or something? That was not good either. <laughs> yeah, so after that I kind of gave up on uh, Star Wars. Oh, another shield. Nice. <laughs> Same one that I'm using now. Alright, we're making progress. Where are we now? Okay. I want to get to here. <laughs> if we can. Whoa! Well, this spear is pretty good. Raven Givens, I couldn't get past all of the pages of Bran and his love of climbing bored the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, save point. I feel like with some writers, we read for the language, you know? They're just good writers. For some writers, we read for the uh, more of the characters' world lore, and maybe the writing is not great. <laughs> or like it's just, you know, it's average, it's good enough. I think George R. R. Martin is terrific at like world building. But, you know, the day-to-day -day, uh, 
writing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Howd of Color Twice Sai says, I'm more of a Brandon Sanderson fan. I've heard of him a lot. Never read any of his stuff, though. Uh, Voer says, should have at least shown how Palpatine returned. If you're going to make him the main villain again. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So there I see a gargoyle. I am not a fan of fighting gargoyles, so let's poison him to death. Let's see if we can pull this off. Hopefully those guys in the distance don't see me. Oh, is that a... Uh, yeah. That's a little golden tree. Huh. Is this going to reach him? He's pretty tall. Is it going to take... Ah, uh, maybe not. Shoot. Hmm. Plan B. Maybe just skip him. <laughs> they should have brought Darth Plagueis back and had him be a secret Sith. Yeah, that might have been good. You could try the weapon art. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll skip the... Uh, Gargoyle for now. <laughs> okay, we came from here? No. Oh, we came from up there. Let's go downstairs. Brandon Sanderson? Is that the, um... What's the name of the, uh... The series? Wheel of Time? Was that what that was? Or am I thinking of somebody else? What is that? Wand? Sword? Stormlight Archive? Is that the name of the series? Mistborn series. Okay. He helped with the last couple books of Wheels of Time. Right, 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 right. The original author of Wheel of Time, he passed? Was that what that was? Mistborn? Okay, I'll look into him. Right, I seem to remember hearing about the uh, the magic system in Brandon Sanderson's books. Like, it makes sense? Is that right? <laughs> that might be interesting to look into. Well, we got more uh, bubble blowers and a switch. That's weird. Well, let's hit the switch. Let's see what happens. Whoa. I'm trying to see what happens with pulling the switch. Let's see. Did it do anything? <laughs> I can't tell. It's very tight knit. Has an explanation for everything. Okay. Maybe like um, instead of hard science fiction, it's hard fantasy. <laughs> Well, I don't see... Ooh, there's a leg. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Crazy. Is that like ash? Ash or dust or something? That's a uh, pretty common theme. Or, um... Pretty common thing to appear. 
in uh, FromSoft games. All right, let's see if we can get past this gargoyle. I want that golden seed, but not that much. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Oh, deep in the underground area, there's a boss fight where you fight two gargoyles. I tried that a couple times, and I was like, yeah, screw this. <laughs> so I gave up on that. Tree roots? I wonder if that's connected to the Erd tree. Maybe not. Where are we now? Oh, we're kind of getting away from the capital. That's cool. We'll look at uh, what this big structure is. Can we ride the horse? No. Okay. You know what? Let's uh, let's change my equipment. Let's move. Let's do the um, the dual wheel that I've been doing recently. <laughs> I can show that off. Uh, but yeah, spike spear in the uh, right hand. We get a stab. We get a sweep. I love that sweep, especially against miners. And then the uh, dual wheel attack. Oh, you're the gladiator guy. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so we'll poison him first with the L2. Ow. And then we'll just use a bunch of L1s. Oh, but I don't have the uh, talismans equipped for the uh, damage up with the poison, so... This isn't going to be as effective as it could be. Ow! Jeez! Oh, come on! <laughs> but I like this kind of enemy. Like, he seems so, like, basic, you know? Just a Roman gladiator, but... I don't know, they made him really cool, somehow. <laughs> Yeah, that charge. Got some uh, tracking on that. <laughs> okay, let's change my talismans. Let's do more uh, poison damage. So... You... Yeah, when somebody has poison or... Um, rot, I think. That'll be extra damage there. And jumping attacks. Yeah, we can stick with that, I guess. Alright, where was he? Right, beyond the uh, gargoyle. You know what? We can probably grab the seed and then uh, run away from him, so... <laughs> Yoink! See ya! Ow! Ugh. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm assuming he can't get around these uh, roots here. Ow! <laughs> Alrighty. Where are my runes? There they are. Okay. Let's try this guy again. Yeah, I don't really know his patterns too well. Okay. 
Alrighty, let's go. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> okay, poison him, hopefully. Okay, great. Ow. Jeez, big damage. But No, that didn't work last time either. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, that charge. Maybe I need to jump over that or something. Uh, again, if anybody wants to talk about near reincarnation, feel free. Spoilers are okay too. I'm working on a, a script to uh, talk about like uh, my kind of early reactions to the uh, conclusion of the story. Hopefully, I'll get that uh, video out tomorrow. Oh, let's see if I can upgrade the uh, flask. Alrighty. And then uh, tomorrow is the... Oh, Voer says looking forward to it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is the last day of the last season of PvP Arena. I'm still debating if I want to play or not. Like, I kind of feel like I don't have anything left to prove in uh, PvP, or in just the gameplay of Reincarnation. And, like, there's no, like, special rewards, you know, for getting a rank, you know? <laughs> so all I want is just top 500 so I can get those uh, pull tickets, so I don't know. Uh, let's skip this guy. I just kind of want to see what this building is. We'll save you for later. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, my window asks, first playthrough? Yes, it is. I'm going in pretty blind. And then I am um, doing a cosplay run of Argo from Near Reincarnation. He's a, a spear user. And uh, I'm at like 100... 10 hours in, taking my time, trying to see everything. <laughs> uh, Koimani says, no near rerun banners. Yeah, not surprising, but it's disappointing. I like the final boss music, how it combined both Arc 1 and 2's themes. I'll have to listen to that again. I didn't catch that, I think. Nice, you're going to have a blast. Going in blind is the best way to play. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, I have never live-streamed anything before, so I'm uh, kind of making Elden Ring my first experience with that. I felt like this was a special game. I felt like the first playthrough would be a special playthrough, so I thought I would record it. And then, yeah, I'm saving all of my uh, live playthroughs in the archive, so you can go back and look at them whenever you like. Uh, 10H Dark Memory Story is long. Yeah. Hope to see Lavania again in the future of the series, if there are more games. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this in the uh, story reaction video, but it looks like Lavania and Theo could very much appear in future games. Oh, there's another gladiator guy. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the ending of Near Reincarnation is open-ended in some ways. And very much not in other ways. 
Okay, let's dash. Let's get that treasure. Let's see if we can open that door. Okay, we got a talisman. Oh, opening the door. Uh, we'll look at the uh, talisman later. Oh, is this a church? Oh, no. Oh, it's like a PvP place, I think? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Voer says, I beat the game like seven times already. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> I've... Recently, something that I've been enjoying doing is uh, starting new characters and seeing, like, how quickly I can get, like, you know, unique or overpowered uh, weapons. Uh, my game is in Japanese. Uh, I'm in Japan, playing on a Japanese PlayStation. And then uh, FromSoft games are not very good about um, providing other languages for their uh, games. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why that. Uh, my Japanese is okay. I'm trying to muddle through it and translate as I go. Ow! Hey, we got him. All right. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm getting the buff from the uh, doing the status effects. Okay. Uh, not interested in PvP, so I guess I'm not interested in this place. So, yeah, Colosseum, I guess? Okay, cool. Uh, my window says there are many OP builds in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've stumbled into one here. This is kind of a uh, status effect build. Bleed and uh, poison. Uh, Voer says, my older brother did beat it seven plus times, though, his first Souls game. Glad he enjoyed it. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah, I'm really curious to see, like, what a second or third playthrough is going to look like. I might just want to, like, you know, rush through and then grab all the stuff that I want for my build and then, uh, yeah, take much less time. Oh, let's see if we can uh, climb up this tree. I saw somebody on Twitter today said that uh, they're all ready for the uh, Elden Ring DLC. And he's got like five different accounts with about like 30, 40 hours on each. All with like uh, different uh, classes or builds. <laughs> and they're all saved at the, uh, the Mogwen uh, Mausoleum. I thought that was pretty funny. And they all look like the exact same character with uh, different hair colors. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So these are the Erd Tree Guardians. So maybe these are the roots of the Erd Tree. Ooh, I want that armor. The one with the uh the the flowers on it. <laughs> I already love the armor, just the, the regular kind. I've been using it for a lot of the game, but yeah, I would like the uh, the flower version. I've gotten four of the six endings. Six endings? I don't know about that. <laughs> Mechanical Akiha costume, one of my favorites. Right, right, right. Yeah, I still need to make a video about my favorite costumes in uh, Near Reincarnation. Yeah, I feel bad about not making more Near Reincarnation videos lately. I've been on an Elden Ring kick. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy to think that there's about a month left. I hope I can get to all the videos that uh, I want to make. Ugh. 
Oops. Okay, I guess we're gonna keep climbing. Yeah, different builds adds replayability. I agree. That thing I've been doing where I like uh, just play the first couple hours for different characters, uh, just to see if I can get their weapons early. I haven't done that for any other FromSoft game. I really feel like the replayability of uh, Elden Ring is higher or better than the others. Oh, treasure. Hey, hey, hey. speak of the devil. Well, let's try that on. <laughs> uh, there it is. Yeah, this is the one that I really like. It has good, like, magic resistance and poison resistance. And it uh, just looks cool, you know, on Argo here. Uh, but let's try uh, this one. Okay, it's heavier, but it has better stats all around. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Stream is running quite smoothly for me, considering I'm so far from Japan. Okay, cool. I have a nice uh, internet connection where I am. That might be helping. Armor in the game is just fashion when you have above 60 poise. Yeah. How much poise do I have? 37. <laughs> oh, and that's even with the, uh, the bull goat thing here, yeah. Can I get back up here? No, okay. This is hilarious. Flower Argo. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, can't poison me. My resistance is too high. <laughs> see anything over there. Uh, my window says, doesn't matter, you can be a glass cannon. Yeah! That's kind of what I went for with my Moog clear. Just go really hard on the, uh, the bleed and poison, and that seemed to work. Huh. Are we stuck? This is so awesome! All these flowers. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, earlier, in, earlier in the game, I would summon the uh, the flower spirit summons a lot for their poison. That would be funny to uh, summon them again. Wearing this. Oh, we can uh, get back up this way. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, Glass Cannon, I've never really played that way in any other uh, FromSoft game. I've always gone for like slower, tankier guys. Let's uh, switch back. Already. Oops. <laughs> Missed the backstab, alright. Ow! Okay, we'll proc this guy and then L2! Heh heh heh, my god. It one punched all of them. <laughs> Any treasure here? No. Japanese is probably a pretty difficult language for an English speaker right now. Yeah. 
They don't have a lot of similarities. Uh, pronunciation's pretty different. Grammar's pretty different. Like uh, Japanese and Chinese, they share the uh, the kanji characters, so that's a uh, that's an advantage you can have there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Godfrey, holy! The first king, Godfrey. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go, I guess. Okay, running R2. Three hits. No, zero hits. Ow. I got greedy. Oh my god. <laughs> Very cool looking guy. Cool looking axe. Well, that was surprising. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's start from here. Hmm. Well, if it's a boss, then I would want to go back to the uh, the poison build. Uh, let's. Oh, I can see him from here. Let's look real quick at this uh, tree. I want to see if this takes us anywhere. No, no, okay. Uh, this boss is pretty easy. Uh, no, it's not a spoiler, but I would rather be uh, surprised. All right, let's do the poison. Um, let's see here. What else raises damage? Oh, this one. The uh, successive hits. We can put that on. Okay, no poise, but whatever. <laughs> and let's summon the flowers. Why not? Uh, there they are, okay. <laughs> I need to level these up more, but whatever. Let's try. Alrighty, let's go. Come on, get poison. No? Still no poison? I hope he's not immune. <laughs> ah, he might be immune. Okay, well, we'll go for the uh, bleed then, I guess. Ow! Ow! Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, come on.
Ouch. Ah, that stomp. Hey, hey, all right. <laughs> hey, we got the uh, another talisman slot. Awesome. Godfrey, first Elden Lord. All right, cool, cool, cool. When I was fighting this boss for the first time, I was so underleveled. Basically speed ran through my first playthrough, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Was he immune to poison? That's disappointing. <laughs> but I beat him with flowers. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, Moog's spear is pretty cool, but I'm really liking my uh, Spike Spear Naginata combo. Alrighty, let's raise a level. Uh... I kind of want to take my strength to 50 and then stop there, so let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. after strength, we'll put it into arcane, I think. I have a lot of health. Yes, I heard that health is important in this game. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we can kind of go three directions. Oh, no, we got another talisman slot. Let's put something in there. <laughs> hey, hey, nice. Uh, what's good? Oh, what's this one? Oh, when HP is at max, raise defense. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this one says fire damage up. Oh, this is the fire scorpion. Fire damage up, but take more damage, maybe. That would be good with the uh, Moog Spear. That does the uh, fire damage. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't equip anything. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, poise. But we're not even going to hit 51 with this. Mm. Well, let's go back to the uh, spear and shield. And let's equip some kind of more guard heavy stuff. So, guard up. And guard counter up. Uh, poise up, I guess. And fire damage up, all right. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. Hmm, nothing here. And nope. Oh. Okay. What I want right now are the uh, stones to upgrade the uh, Naginata. I think I need seven, level seven, of the uh, the regular kind. Otherwise, I'm good. What is this? Oh! That's where we came in, right? Can we get a shortcut, maybe? For the elevator, I'm assuming, yeah. Let's take this down. And where 
where's this? No. This is a new place? Okay, that's where I came from before. That's that gargoyle. <laughs> I've got a message here. Returning... Returning only has a secret. Maybe. <laughs> No, okay. Gargoyle drops this really strong weapon. Well, if it's not a spear, then I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm limiting myself to spears for this run. Whoa! Okay. That's that, uh, what do you call it? Bug. <laughs> Oh, is that a Crucible Knight? Shoot. Those guys are tough. Uh, immune to poison, if I remember. So it wouldn't matter changing. Ooh! Spear's not long enough. Okay. Ow! He's got some reach on that thing. Ouch. Ouch, stuck. Get out of there. <sighs> I blame the railing on the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, the Crucible Knights are cool. They feel like... Um, they feel like skill checks, I guess you could call them. Can't cheese them with uh, status effects. <laughs> Alright, that looked like the way to go, so let's have a look at these other places while we're here. Oh, are these the, uh, the crones? The finger readers? What are they doing here, and why are they dead? Crazy. Is that a door into the Erd tree? Huh. I could help you with the statue puzzle if you like. No, thank you. <laughs> I want to be surprised, and then I think some people enjoy watching me uh, struggle or get confused, so let's uh, preserve that. Can we go up here? Yes. Will it lead anywhere? Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, this area is pretty big. Wow, there's so many. Alright, what do we have? 
have here. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh no. <laughs> cool cloak. Kind of looks like a invisibility cloak. Ow. Oh gee. Where'd all my HP go? <laughs> Jeez. All right, try this. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's not dead yet. Okay. <laughs> You'll be able to get his armor set eventually. Okay, please, no more... Future information, please. Oh, got another guy, no? And another save point. What is this place? Kind of looks like a bed, maybe? Sofa? Alright, miracle. It's cool. Oh, these are like uh, slabs of uh, writing? Huh. Interesting. This bed here kind of makes me think of the, um, the the goddess that was in Anor Londo. Or like the uh, the bed that was in the uh, the top of the uh, cathedral. Dark Souls 3. Ooh, boss door. <laughs> uh, let's come back. I think there was one more place that we hadn't been to. Oh, also, at the very end of the DLC in Dark Souls 3, there was also kind of like a bed there. I wonder if that's all a reference to this. Are these flowers bothering anyone? <laughs> I can uh, unequip them, if so. I wonder if we can go here, actually, onto this roof. Yeah, it looks like we can. Same thing here... Mm, yeah, maybe? Let's go in here real quick. That's a thing. I wonder if we can shoot it down. No, <laughs> guess not. Let's go downstairs. It bothers F66X and 063Y, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I went there, right? Oh, my short term memory. Yeah, I went here, okay. Uh, 
this way. No. Right, this way. Oh, we died out here. We fought the uh, Crucible Knight. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> Uh, for now, let's run by the Crucible Knight. Let's just see what's over there. It would be cool to do a, a 063Y run in Elden Ring as well. Use uh, great swords. Oh, is that a. Oh, those are my uh, runes. <laughs> Oh, right, I forgot about this uh, bug, too. Alright, see ya! What? There's nothing here? Okay. Well, fight me closer to the uh, entrance over there. <laughs> Alright, let's see how far we can draw him over. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, come on over. Oh, he got buffed by the perfumer. That's annoying. <laughs> Come on down. Oh! The elevator. Whoops. Man, that did no damage to him. Ah, I thought I had a backstab on him. Yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> Trapped in here. Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh... I do want to kill that, uh, bug, though. Oh, Joy Costa's here. Hello. The perfumer was buffing him. Yeah, that's what it looked like. All right, let's try him again. That bothers me. <laughs> How do I get there? No. Uh, whatever. All right, let's save here. Uh, let's put on some real armor. <laughs> uh, I've got the heavy roll. Mm. Oh, we can change this for the, uh, the jump damage, maybe? Okay, great. 
Guard. Okay, looks good. Any uh, near reincarnation players gonna go hard tomorrow in a PvP arena? I might sit out. <laughs> Keep forgetting about this uh, dung beetle. Alrighty, let's go. I want to stay close to him so I can get the uh, guard counter in. Ah, I thought I had the backstab. Oh, come on. Ah. Not familiar with that attack. <laughs> oh, is that a laser? Oh. Oh, come on, back attack. Oof. Whoa, what is that? Are you kidding me? What the? My character looks so tiny next to him, yeah. <laughs> I'm even wearing my thickest armor and I still look little. Okay, but we're doing okay damage on him. Is this the last arena season? Asks Starkey. Yes. Tomorrow is the last day of the last season. For some reason, I thought there would be a final one after the last chapter release. No, this is it. I think they're going to turn off arena after this. Uh, the game is just going to be, like, in a static state. Like, technically, the game is shutting down tomorrow. And it'll be sort of like an offline version for a month. And then they'll take it off. That's maybe a more accurate way to describe what's going on. And a new profile picture. <laughs> I like the new one. Uh, Joy Costa says, I finished the final chapter today. Felt too happy for a Yoko ending. <laughs> I agree. I agree, but it wasn't all happy. I'll say it in the video that I uh, put out tomorrow, hopefully. But like, what I was personally hoping for, for the, um... For all of the, uh, kind of the side characters, was that they would, uh, you know, get their... their memories and their will implanted into, uh, like, maybe android bodies or something and then uh, begin a new life. Uh, that didn't end up happening. But it, it also very closely relates to sort of the central message of the game. So for that, you know, it felt appropriate, even if not very happy. <laughs> Thank you. 
He's stomping. Oh, come on! Can I not backstab the guy? <laughs> Ooh, laser! Eh, too early. Try it. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Run away! Oh, no! Ooh. My god. No, oh, no! Oh my god! Alright, let's finish him in style. Huh. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, got him. Uh, Stark says this is this one is the main picture I use, but just want a time variety for our YouTube. Okay, cool. If you come to the East Coast, USA, I'll take your headshot. Oh, you're a photographer. I uh, I like photography as a uh, hobby. I had all these new characters I was hoping to level up and try in Arena. Yeah, this is it, unfortunately. That's why I was kind of going so hard the last couple weeks with just trying different builds, because I just did want to try them out. Uh, Joy Costa says you can walk on the huge golden spear. No kidding. Snarky, what kind of camera, what kind of lenses do you have and use? Okay, let's get that dung beetle. I can hear it. Uh... Oh, here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's use the, uh, the weapon art. Here we go. Ooh. Did we get it? No. Again. What? No. One more. <laughs> he keeps dodging it. Hang on. Got you. Okay. <laughs> uh, golden magic defense. Interesting. Yes, I would prefer no spoilers. Okay, let's go to that boss door. Canon 5D, Mark IV, doing portraits and commercial work. Use a Fuji X-T4 for video. Okay. Very cool. What uh, lens length do you like? I love using Fuji more because of their look. Color of the images, feel the camera, but not ready to trade in all my Canon gear yet, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, once you build sort of a collection, you know, of one uh, brand, kind of locks you in. <laughs> uh, I like uh, Pentax myself. I took a uh, photography class, or uh, I joined a photography club in uh, junior high, and uh, they made everybody get the um, the K1000, the uh, the full manual uh, film camera. That's how I learned. And uh, yeah, with the uh, the Pentax mount. They've uh, kept it up to now, so even on their brand new uh, digital cameras, you can put those old film lenses on there. <laughs> so yeah, I've been a Pentax guy all my life. Uh, my profession will stay a secret. It's like investing materials in a character in gotcha games, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we go up there, right? I guess we're entering the Erd Tree? Uh, Japan is a great place to buy lenses. Um, maybe especially used lenses. People are pretty careful with their, uh, with their stuff, and so buying used is good. Also, if you want, like, uh, wristwatches, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, Pentax. Um, the way Pentax is set up, you can use uh, even the old film lenses on the new digital bodies. Uh, but yeah, I uh, learned on, uh, on film. <laughs> But yeah, film is kind of expensive. Seems kind of counterintuitive, but yeah. So I only fight, or I only um, shoot digital these days. Alrighty. Well, let's go back to the poison. Set up. Uh, 85, yeah. That's a nice uh, focal length for uh, portraits, I think. I prefer prime lenses and just move myself around instead of zoom lenses. I agree, I am the same way. Your legs are your zoom, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get those other ones, those other damage up. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the poise one. Jump attack, no, jump attack, and uh, successive attacks, okay. Alrighty, here we go. I do not know who's behind here. Oh. Should we summon flowers again? <laughs> Alright, who do we got? Oh, cutscene. Hmm, do I recognize that voice? <laughs> is that Margaret? What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. Uh huh. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. Mm hmm. General Radan, Praetor Rikard, uh -huh. Luna Princess Rani. Yeah. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Have it writ upon thy meager 
grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Morgoth. Last of all kings. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, flowers. Do your thing. Ooh. Target. Okay, thank you. Ow. Okay, poison. Oh, I got a heal. <laughs> This is kind of funny, because I summon these flowers from my clear market as well. So it's fitting. Oh! Uh. Ow! Ow! Finally got an attack in on him. <laughs> Woo! Ah. This guy's pretty quick. I think the uh, poison is worn off. Ah! Oh no! Oh, what the? Woo! Oh. Ugh. Oh no, hammer again. Oh no. Ah. Come on. Oh no, no, no. Oh, whoa. Well. Oh. oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> Oh, is that phase two? All right, all right. Okay, he looks strong. <laughs> More good, okay. All right, let's check the uh, comments. Never thought about used lenses in Japan. A buddy had got me a Game Boy Color from over there and told me how pristine the used game stores were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you can make it to Japan, I'll be happy to show you around. How have we felt about the speed of this game? That was something... I was worried about before starting. Because I heard it was faster. And like, it involved a lot more uh, like dodging and rolling. And I was wondering if I was going to be able to adapt, you know? So much preferring, like, um... Kind of tankier, slower styles. I'm still struggling, but... I'm making it, I guess. <laughs> okay, I don't think these flowers are helping me very much, but we'll keep trying. <laughs> Yeah, it still doesn't have the poison. Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> okay, three attacks there. That's nice. Ow! Oh! Run away! Okay, poison, still doing his job.
damned by my curse. Such shame they cannot bear. Thy part in this oh, no. shall not be forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Nah. It's got a little bit of the uh, delayed attacks like uh, Margaret. Oh no, run away! <laughs> oh no, oh, charge, 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 charge. Okay, alright. Ow! This guy's relentless. Ah, oh, run away! Okay, no more healing. Ooh. Oh, poison got him! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Shardbearer Morgan, okay. Oh my heart. <laughs> Alright, comments. Well, you finished Bloodborne, so you should be fine with speed. I did Bloodborne my way. I used the rifle spear so I could kind of keep my distance and wait for an opening and then do the super long range attack. So I kind of didn't really get the Bloodborne experience there. Uh, Starkey says, my friend said I should have done Bloodborne first, too. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like Bloodborne, it would hold up better. It would be one of the better ones to play after Elden Ring. Because it is really its own thing. Compared to all the Dark Souls games, for example. Okay, people saying nice, good job, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, Joy Costa says this is a oh great rune. Does that mean that this rune is good to use, or? <laughs> all right, we got uh, Morgut's Remembrance. All right. Hey, hey, how about this poison build, huh? Not bad, huh? <laughs> I died many, many times to Margaret, so... We'll say that that's a payback for that. <laughs> My character is Argo from a game, Near Reincarnation. A uh, mobile game that I cover on my uh, YouTube channel. I don't see a save point. Alright, what's this? No? Okay, I guess we're gonna go inside the Erd tree? Oh man, that's crazy. I wonder if I saw everything. Like, we didn't see any of this, right? Okay, well, we'll get to that later, I guess. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh! Not everyone can enter. What? What? Why... Why did I come here then? Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, chat. I am asking you, what is this door? What is it saying? The Japanese is a bit tough for me. Oh, I see a save point. This was not here before. Maybe we'll get some kind of message resting here. Oh. Hello 
again. Hello. Old friend. <laughs> Allow me a moment to converse with you. You sure. are unable to enter the Erd Tree. No? Right. Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My mm -hmm. purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey. Okay. <laughs> with me to the flame of ruin. Far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. What? Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame. What? And guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Lorudol Medallion, maybe? Okay, there's a red mark on my map. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll level up. Your runes to strength. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Okay, thoughts, more strength. Your ambitions. The principles you would Well, let's talk to her, I guess. I wish to journey with you once more sure. to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Do I want to do that? Set the Erd Tree aflame? <laughs> I do want to become Elden Lord, but... Uh... Alright, that'll do... <clears throat> All right, see ya. If setting the Earth Tree is the only way for me to become Elden Lord, then I guess I gotta do it. <laughs> okay, let's look at the map. Yeah, here will take me to the uh, Dorudo place. Like uh, the medallion was saying. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll go there. Uh, how do we get there? No. Well, let's walk a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we'll go another hour. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, still can't get that. Well, I guess we'll see if we can uh, teleport. This one, I guess, is the closest. Yeah, we can try this.
let's see here. South east, I guess. Okay. Can't go that way. <laughs> hmm. I feel like the last time we came here was nighttime. <laughs> okay, I'm asking the chat again, how do I get over here? <laughs> oh, maybe I have to go over the wall, maybe? Here? I don't know. Help me! <laughs> Uh, we never ended up here, did we? Oh, what's this? I guess that's where we want to go. Go to the grace under the image of Lanedale Castle. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, checking my phone. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Whoa. Uh, maybe nothing here. Anything here? No. Okay, thank you. My window. Backtrack. I'm going to check the uh, wiki real quick. Doesn't tell me how to get through. Hang on. <laughs> Walk through. All right. Lando, capital. Okay. Sorry, just a few seconds more.
This walkthrough looks a lot longer than what I was doing. <laughs> I'll uh, maybe come back later and do that. On my own time. Okay, boss battle. Morgoth, the Omen King. Okay, advance to the Erd Treats, Impenetrable, go back to the Site of Grace, Rolled Metallion. Oh, I guess there was a seal that was blocking the path. Previously encountered where the section is guarded by Misbegotten, can now be explored. To quickly get there, fast travel to the Avenue Balcony, Site of Gate, uh, Grace. Avenue Balcony. Uh, ah, that might be this one. Nope. Oh, Queen's Room? Okay. Uh, big Church. Uh, the Eastern Wall. Okay. Must be this one. Yeah, Big, big Street. Uh, Avenue? Alright, let's go there. <laughs> okay, head on to the main street. And then turn left and follow to the large double doors. Okay. Head to the main street. <laughs> Head to the main double doors, turn left. So there's the big double doors. We'll go here, I guess. Okay, this is new. Uh huh. Sewer, I guess. Okay, my window says, should be this one, okay. And Hector says, hello, how are we doing? I'm pretty good, thank you. <laughs> We're exploring the uh, Lanedale capital. I got a new mission to go to the, um, the mountaintops. I can't get into the uh, Ur tree. Ooh. Okay. Okay, under the dragon now. <laughs> Get some treasure. Cool. Sewers, maybe? Uh, no. No more help. I'm exploring. Oh, here's this thing. Ah, almost one-punched him. Whoa! <laughs> Got him. Alright, cool. Whoa! Creepy. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. Whoa! Creepy, creepy, creepy! Jeez. Alrighty. Well, good thing I had the uh, spear for that narrow hallway.
Oh, a well. Alright, that looks like a way. <laughs> All right, that might be it for this place. We can go in the uh, tunnel again. Turtleneck. What is this place? Well, we're gonna jump out. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, crap. Another boss. <laughs> okay, but I have the uh, fire. I think it should work against this guy. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, he grabbed me. Shoot. Let me go... I'm glad I have my shield. <laughs> All right, slow and steady. Whoop. fire now. Alright, nice bunch of hits there. Oh! Get bleed. Okay! <laughs> Alright. Golden seed. Hector says, I love how these Souls games do a great job at designing creepy and sad enemies. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That guy is cool because he's like so dynamic. He's moving around a whole bunch. I don't know if I've seen any other FromSoft boss move like that. Well, we came from there. No, we jumped out of that window. So let's go in here. Oh, pot. Very cool. Come on, try it. Ah, too far away. Ow! Okay. Uh, Starkey asked, did I play Dragon Quest XI? No, I did not. When you got blocked to the blocked Erd Tree entrance, it reminded how those games have that fake-out ending. But there's a whole other game to go to. Interesting. <laughs> uh, the only Dragon Quest I ever played was one. <laughs> I'm definitely going to date myself here, but... Um... I got a uh, subscription to uh, Nintendo Power. And if you got a subscription, they would give you 
a uh, copy of Dragon Quest 1 called uh, Dragon Warrior in those days. Starkey, are you a fan of the uh, Dragon Quest games? Ooh. Got a big ol'... Oh, it's a whole set. Crazy. Lionel. Lionel, it says. And a... Uh, dress? A death... Deathbed dress? Hmm. Interesting. Let's try on that armor. <laughs> it's not going to look very... Argo, but just to see what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty cool. Interesting, he's got holes on the top and the bottom of the uh, brim, I guess so he can see. <laughs> Interesting. I remember how they really wanted the West to get into Dragon Quest by giving it away in that manner. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Joy Costa says insane poise? Sure looks like it. Starkey says since Dragon Quest XI, yes, but the older ones feel more dated, so it's kind of hard. Charming but simple. I've played too many RPGs already. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like, 11? Was that like... Is that like everyone's favorite? I forget. One of them I remember is like, considered among the best. But I feel like a lot of uh, Dragon Quests have gotten like, uh, remakes or... Um whatever, for different um, platforms. That might be worth looking into. Alright, I think I remember seeing a big guy over here. Yeah, I, I remember you. <laughs> Alright, come on. Ow! Yeah, this guy's tough. Whoa! Oh, but he staggers maybe a little easily? Maybe? Okay, he wasn't that bad. <laughs> Give me your helmet. Hey! <laughs> I fought another version of this guy earlier, and I got all of his armor except for his helmet, so I was wanting that. But there it is. Perfect. Eleven was the most recent one. Oh, that's right. That's right. It was the big breakout in the West. Okay, got it. Dragon Quest V being the most regarded one. That? I don't know. Maybe. That rings a bell, I think. Waiting for a remake of 3 on the Switch. Right, 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 right. In those early Dragon Quest games, you don't see your characters. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Is that it for this place, maybe? Okay. I guess we gotta go in the sewers, maybe. All right, here we go. Whoa. I wonder if this place is poison. 
Guess not. Oh, okay. I guess uh, fire is going to be effective down here. <laughs> Turn the lantern on. Okay, I don't have the lantern. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess just pick a direction and go. Let's. Oh! I feel like we're getting farther away from this place. <laughs> well, no worries. We're in no rush. All right, let's go this way. I played Dragon Quest VIII, but really want to go back and experience seven on the PS1. <laughs> Uh, let's look up here real quick. Oh, there's another ladder. Oh, this is where we came in. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, we'll turn left at every junction. How's about that? Now that looks like a dead end, so yeah. Come on down. Oh, there's two of them. Come on down. <laughs> okay, this thing's pretty useful. <laughs> oh. Hello. No? Okay. That was a big one. I really shouldn't be running in this water barefoot, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, what's with the flowers on your back? Asks Hector. Uh, this is the, uh, the tree guardian uh, armor set. And uh, there is a regular version. Looks like this. <laughs> Uh, but there's a, uh, kind of an upgraded one, which has better stats. Which has the flowers. Just picked this up, so I'm really excited to have it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are, uh, tree guardians, so... I guess it makes sense that they're looking like flowers. Man! I am not doing any damage to this guy. Oh, 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 come on. Maybe I should wear some uh, stronger armor. <laughs> Okay. That big guy is still there. Okay. See ya. <laughs> oh, rat. I forgot you were there. These flowers actually kind of make it hard to see. I might want to change that out. <laughs> oh, let's wear the armor of the guy that we just beat. <laughs> uh, which one was it? Uh, 
Oh, here we are. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. And what the heck, let's wear the helmet too. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay, big guy. Part two. Okay, fire working. Ow. Huh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, uh, the art dev asks, hi, is this your first playthrough? Yes, it is. I'm going through blind. And uh, also, my first time live streaming anything. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. No, okay. Alright, I guess this is a dead end. Uh, how far in are you? Uh, I've played over a hundred hours at the moment. And uh, this is how much of the map I have cleared so far. And I am heading for here, the next area. <laughs> Average Elden Ring player says, what's good? Elden Ring is good, that's what's good. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. Next area is the worst one. Uh, thank you, but uh, let me be surprised. I'm trying to go through this blind. Uh, but generally, in uh, FromSoft games, I enjoy all the areas, like uh, Dark Souls 1, Blight Town. I like Blight Town, actually. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not going to listen to like what, um, maybe like what the general consensus is of a place or a weapon or a build or something. I'm going to try it out myself and uh, go from there. Judge for myself. Oh, you guy again. Oh my god. Art Dev, next area is great and amazing. Nothing is better. <laughs> Average Elden Ring player says, so no backseat? Yes, no backseat. I would prefer. Uh, why is it in Japanese? Uh, I'm in Japan, playing on a Japanese PlayStation. And uh, FromSoft games are not good about... Um, providing really good language support on all their different versions, so... Gotta do it this way. But my Japanese is okay, so we'll muddle through it. <laughs> uh, sometimes I will need help. And I will ask if I need help. Alrighty. Love the mask. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll jump down here. Oh, this is at least pointing in the right direction. Uh, what is that? Claws, I guess? Or throwing knives, maybe? Uh, some kind of dagger. Maybe a copper? Copper dagger? And dried meat, maybe? Alrighty, I guess we'll go up here. Uh, 
Let's see. Starkey says, those hands from Ocarina of Time are wild, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's my build? Good question. Um, I've respect a few times. Uh, but I'm doing a uh, Argo cosplay. Argo from a near reincarnation. He has long hair and a beard, and he uses spears, so I'm sticking to spears. Uh, sometimes I'm uh, dual wielding this uh, spike spear and the uh, the cross naginata for uh, status effects, poison and bleed. Uh, but I just beat Moog, so I've been trying out his uh, big spear. In uh, older Dark Souls games, I've always liked to use the uh, the shield. So I've been uh, using that uh, playstyle here as well. Long ladder. This one looks familiar, this ladder. I think I've been here before. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay. So let's go back down. <laughs> okay. Arcane? Yeah, I'd like to build my arcane. Congrats beating Mog. I'd say he's the second hardest boss in the game. Took me six days. Woo! <laughs> what level did you beat Mog at? I beat him about 135. I used the um, the Mimic tier. I had heard it was strong, but I didn't know how strong it was. My second time using it, he was very helpful against Mog, so that was helpful for uh, beating him. I beat him at 70. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Well, you don't sound very average to me. <laughs> Oh, maybe... Ah, I guess this ladder's the only way out of here. Okay. So I guess I'm going to make my way back into the sewers. But take a different way. No. Now I'm lost. <laughs> I came in through this way, I think. I'm going to turn left. Oh, yeah, we went over here. And we came this way. Yeah, we could go back in here again, I think. Uh, right, okay, let's go this way. That's where I came in. Hmm. Is this it for the sewers? Okay, I haven't been here yet. Okay, big bones. Rune.
Dead end? Hmm. Uh, criminal's hood. Uh, art dev? I'd prefer no spoilers. And no jokes of spoilers. Uh, average Elden Ring player, same goes for you. Hmm. I wonder if there's more sewers that I haven't seen yet. No, I've been here before. Maybe I haven't been up there. Average Elden Ring player, I am blocking you. Have a nice day. All right, I can't see the map. Oh, haven't been here yet. Getting close ish. Lots more directions we could go. Well, let's go from the left, I guess. Elevator. This might be a shortcut to somewhere. this. No, I don't think we've been here yet. Uh, Hector asks, do you have a preferred style of fighting in this game aside from this current kit? Mmm. I'm old, so I don't like button mashy styles, so like daggers I'm never going to use. Uh, maybe fists I will never use. So I like larger weapons, I like shields. <laughs> I can uh, take my time. Kind of looks like uh, another, what do you call it? Crucible Knight? We'll save him for later. Oh, here's the main street, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're farther along, I believe. Okay. Slowly making our way. <laughs> west. We don't want to go west. want to go east. Uh, but also for preferred styles, I like, uh, what do you call it, just attacking physically, not so much magic or uh, projectiles. Uh, but if you look back uh, my channel, I have some uh, Dark Souls uh, remastered videos. In there I try sorcerer builds, pyromancy builds, just to see what they are uh, like. Have we been here? Okay, okay, I think we're going the right direction. <laughs> Alright, we're running low on time anyway, so let's just head there. There's probably a lot I'm missing in the uh, the capital here, but... Maybe I'll do that on my own time. <laughs> what are they up to? Uh, beast blood? Erd tree again, alright. Still can't ride the horse. Oh, there's a dog. Oh! <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, more runes. Thought I saw treasure out of the uh, corner of my eye. <laughs> Oh no! Missed the backstab. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm almost dead. Alrighty. Sometime in the near ish future, I would like to go back to uh, Dark Souls 3. I still never beat uh, Midir, and I've also never done like a, a true paladin build where I use like a blunt weapon. Oh no! This guy sucks. I gotta get closer. Uh, but he does stagger easily. Ooh! Okay. Oh. <laughs> the dog just watching us that whole time? Alright. What do we got? Oh! Perfume bottle? Cool. Uh, but yes, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> Uh, I would like to do a true paladin build with just blunt weapons and then uh, raise the faith, do uh, miracles. So maybe going back to Dark Souls 3 I could do that there. I tried that with uh, Dark Souls 1 but uh, kind of lost interest somewhat quickly because There's not a lot of uh, offensive magic, or offensive uh, miracles in that game. And like, it's difficult to get one of the better uh, lightning bolt throws. Because you have to, um, I think, play PvP. 
Or you can go to a very late part of the game and farm some guys uh, to get the materials that you need to unlock that uh, that miracle. So yeah, that just sounded like too much hassle. I thought it'd be better to do it in a uh, later game. It's funny how you mentioned button mashing. My style of fighting leans more towards speed and crits. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. If I were younger, you know, I would enjoy the uh, the button mashing, but not these days. Are they having a meeting? Well, let's see. Oh, I can summon. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Demihume versus Demihume. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. No, 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 oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Hector says they really improved the magic and miracles in Elden Ring. That's what I've heard, too. Well, like, improved how? Are they, like, easier to use or more powerful or... I don't know. Uh, Joy Costa says the spell DPS was nerfed severely on Dark Souls. Takes out the fun. <laughs> oh, Devil May Cry? Yeah. Oh, I'm back here? Oh, crap. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Let's call that a live stream. Easier to use, lots to choose from. Okay, cool. All right, we'll end the live stream here. Uh, next live stream, I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I'll try to uh, make it so that like the first time that I go to the top of the mountain or wherever uh, this place is, I'll try to make it so that that's the beginning of the next live stream. Okay, that'll do it for this. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I am going to try to make that uh, new reincarnation story conclusion reaction video. Uh, Hector says, I'm glad to catch you live. Yeah, thank you for joining. Sorry I don't really uh, announce these ahead of time too much. But yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.